Hey, this is Larry Powell of Circle P Marketing. I just wanted to get this quick video over to you outlining how you can generate more clients for your business. Um, so first off, I know you guys don't currently have a website. Um, how we really generate most of our clients for, or customers for our clients um, is through getting them websites and getting them ranked on Google um, to where they generate a consistent stream of new clients coming in um, every day. So first off, I just wanted to show you a quick example of a website and how basic these things can be um, that can still generate these leads for you guys um, and kind of what the attributes are, what you really want to look for um, key components wise on these websites that really help with not only um, your rankings and getting the leads coming in, but also your conversions once people are getting to your guys' website. Um, so this is a website I have built for a company here out of Oregon where I'm based out of. Um, so there's just a couple things on here that I wanted to show you really quick so you can kind of know what to look for. Um, first off, click to call buttons are going to be awesome for your business. People are doing mobile search so often these days, having these click to call buttons where they can just click on this phone number and automatically connect with their cell phone is going to be huge for you guys when it comes to conversions. Um, next off, contact forms up here front and center. Um, people are really looking for that business and get out there and give them a quote on getting their project done as soon as possible. Um, so if they're not having to search around your website for that contact form, that's going to really help with your guys' conversions as well. Now when it comes to rankings, there's over 200 different factors that Google looks at when it comes to rankings and who determine, or in determining who's going to be in that top spot. Um, and one of the factors that we can really influence is the amount of content you have on this homepage. So to really optimize for Google and what they're looking for, you really want to have at least 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on this homepage. Um, in certain circumstances, more, depending on what your competition has, because our goal is to beat out your competition in every way possible. With this content, you really want to make sure you have your search terms that you really want to be found for listed within this content. Um, and I'll go over one search term I found that could generate a lot of traffic for you guys. Um, but overall, you know, what you're really looking for is just content um, and then making sure this is as user friendly as possible um, so that it'll convert once people are getting to your guys' website. So the search term I found was N New Jersey Painters, so NJ Painters. Um, this is currently getting 300 searches per month. Being in the top spot for this search term, you can count on getting about 33% of that search volume headed towards your website. So as we're looking at Google, there's a couple different things we're looking at here. Everybody knows how to use Google, um, but not, not everybody fully understands exactly what they're looking at here. So this is Google paid ads. Uh, most of the time people are skipping over these. Um, there is always an off chance that people are clicking on these ads and it is a way that you can get leads coming in right away just because it does take a little bit of time to get your business into this top spot organically. Um, so if you guys are needing leads coming in right away, um, this is a service we could help you guys with as far as getting these ads put up here uh, and, you know, getting some leads coming in right off the bat. Next, we're going to be looking at the three pack or GMB or Google My Business. Um, this is very valuable territory for your business because, again, people are doing mobile search so often. Um, and, you know, they're looking at this, these three businesses um, as the first thing they're seeing. So getting your business into here, there's a couple different factors for what you're looking at. The first one is just known as citations. Citations is your business name, address, and phone number listed on the web. Um, some great citation sources you could find for your business would be like Yellow Book, um, even a Facebook page. If you list your address on there, it can count as a citation. So there's a lot of opportunities out there for citations. And the more you have, the better your chances are of being in this three pack. And what we can actually do is look at the number of citations that these top three have, and then we can beat out that number. So my recommendation would be if they have, say, 50 of them, we go for 150 because we want to beat out the competition in every way possible. Another big factor for how you get your business in here is your organic rankings. So where your business sits organically in these search results plays a big factor in if you're going to be in this top three. So as we're looking at the organic search results, we have Angie's List and Home Advisor as the top two sites. Most of the time, people or Google prefers to rank the small business owner over these large national directory sites like this because these guys are in direct competition with Google Ads. So as long as your website has the correct amount of content and you're optimized out for Google, 99% of the time you guys are going to be passing these ones up. So looking at the top ranked organic, um, you know, mom and pop shop, Solace Painting, looking at their website, it's really not all that impressive. Um, they definitely have some content on here. Um, you can tell they're a big operation. They operate in a lot of different areas. Um, but overall, they're, you know, their site's just really not that impressive. And we're, when we're looking at these sites, it's not just, you know, the front end of the site that we're looking at. We're also looking at the back end of the site. So Google 
is built on what's called backlinks. And it's one business linking itself to another business, one website linking itself to another website. So for you guys, as you get your site up and as you're going out there and getting after, going after these backlinks, you really want to get relevant backlinks to your industry. Meaning you guys, you know, it's going to carry a lot more weight if you get a backlink to a painting company here out of Oregon where I'm based out of than if you guys were to get a link to your local pizza hut because you guys aren't slinging pizzas. So for this company, they have 38 backlinks um, and 19 referring domains. And the domains is the websites it's coming from and you can get multiple backlinks from a domain. Um, so looking at this, the metrics, you know, there's just not a lot of competition from these guys. Um, be very doable to pass these guys up in a short amount of time. And they're currently getting 278 people per month headed towards their website. So there's a lot of traffic here um, that you guys could capture by, you know, really taking over this market and um, targeting a lot of the same keywords um, that they're already going after. Next, coming down here, we have Touch a Brush Painting. Looking at their website. Again, it's a nice website. There's a little bit more content on here than the last one, but still very doable to pass these guys up. Um, and looking at the back end of their site, the metrics are even worse. Um, very doable for you guys to get a website up and claim a good portion of this, you know, 300 search volume that it's coming in currently um, for New Jersey painters. If you have any questions on this, I'd love to talk to you more. We could set up a quick 10 minute phone call. Um, love to learn a little bit more about your business and we could talk about what we could do for your company. Thank you and have a nice day.